Hi everyone, so I wanted to touch on something very pivotal. This is the word of the Lord that is taken from Exodus 14 verse 21 to 22. And something jumped out and leaped at me as I was studying this book. Glory be unto your name, Jesus. And what is so paramount in these words? I just want to read them first. Glory to God. And it says in verse 21 of Exodus 14, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land and the waters were divided hallelujah verses 22 says so the children of israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left here is the reading of god's holy words i honor it by saying thanks be to almighty god now this is what I noticed, Masekotiaha, glory to God. Not only did the God of all gods and the Lord of hosts parted the water of the Red Sea, a huge body of, of water, a sea, as vast amount of water as a sea. The Lord had Moses to stretch out his hand and he parted. No, it wasn't Moses. Moses was just a vessel being used by God. Moses was a chosen mentor, chosen leader, and a vessel chosen by Almighty God to lead the Israelites into the promised land. You can read the book of Exodus. But what I notice in this great and mighty move of God is that God not only parted the waters of the Red Sea, that the water was on the right and it was also on the left. God allowed the Israelites to walk through in the middle of dry ground. So not only did God part the waters, he dried the ground under the Israelites' feet. Now that is how special we are to God. That is how important and great we are to the creator because he's the creator and we are his creation. And I'm here to tell somebody that just as all God performed that great miracle, Yoko Sheha, in the Israelites' life and allow them to see his glory. That's the same way he's going to perform miracles in your life. And not only is he going to part the Red Seas in your life, but he's also going to dry the ground under your feet. That when you notice that only his power and greatness and the hands of God could do that. And you're going to look to see the hand of God in your situation because no human being could possess such power and such authority that water stands on the right and stands on the left and he allowed his heavenly hands with an outstretched arm to reach down and to dry the ground under the Israelites' feet. This act this great and mighty act of God drying the ground under the Israelites' feet was to show how he, God, is all-powerful. How can a body of water be moved from right and to the left and the ground that the water was on suddenly be dry? It had to be God in the matchless name of Jesus. Do not belittle him. You cannot fathom God because God is not one to be reckoned with. Trust me. If if you are looking for him and you have not yet found him, trust me, he's there. Keep looking, lean on him, find him because God is real. And trust me, his powers are second to none. He is unmatched in all his power and glory. And these words again, I leave from Exodus 14 verse 21 to 22. You can read it for yourself. God doesn't lie. And he had appointed men to write the Bible. It is not a storybook. It is not a storybook, but it is revealing and unveiling right before our very eyes. Be still and know that he the Lord is good and watch and see his mighty works and his mighty hand in your life and in all that you do today. Bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you.